Welcome to Basic Bioinformatics, brought to you by the Sequencing Center. Okay, so in a previous video, we did an alignment of our sample reads against um, a reference genome, in this case, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, and we're using the uh, Genius tool to look at the alignment and variant calls. And what I wanted to do here was just briefly discuss coverage and what that means and how to interpret it a little bit. What I want to do here is click on our uh, demo run to bring up the alignment viewer in, in Genius. And this is what it brings up. And what we want to do here is try to configure this correctly so we have it all set up to look at coverage. So the first thing we'll do is click on Contig View. Make sure we're in that tab. Over in the control panel on the right, we have some options here. I want to make sure we go over down to the Annotations and Tracks option. So I'll click on that. And then we want to choose uh, CDS, the coding sequences, make sure that that's enabled. And then we're going to disable all the other tracks that are out there. We just want the CDS track in this case. And then there's some other options here for zooming in and out. Uh, we can zoom all the way in if we want to the read level, nucleotide base level, or zoom all the way out. Uh, we can also click along this coverage map and go to that specific location. But what I really want to do here is uh, zoom all the way out. And then we want to make sure we're at the, the top of the list here for the reads. There's another option on the right here where we can go to a specific uh, locus or, or region of the genome. And in this case, I want to go to the first, first locus. And we'll click there. That takes us all the way to the left. Now, <clears throat> let's go back and scroll out here. Um, So this first track uh, shows the coverage across the uh, across the genome. So the mapped reads uh, against the reference genome uh, shows the coverage from the first locus all the way over to six and a half million, which is roughly the size of this uh, Pseudomonas uh, genome. Uh, the second track is the actual reference sequence for Pseudomonas aeruginosa. And then below that are all the sample reads, both the forward reads and reverse reads. Uh, arranged in order. And so one thing we want to want to note here is the coverage. And if you look across uh, the alignment of the reads against the reference genome, it shows that the coverage is quite uniform all the way across. And that's really important. We like to see uniform coverage across the entire genome. In this case, I think the coverage was about 52x roughly with a small standard deviation. And so it's nice uniform coverage all the way across the genome, and that's that's always a very good sign. If the coverage is too low, uh, we would probably see a number of artificial gaps in here. We don't want to see those. That means there's no reads mapping to the reference genome. In this case, we don't really see that. If there are if there are gaps in the sequence here, it would mean that either the samples really do not map to the reference; they're simply missing. Or it often means there's bacteriophage and phages inserted into the genome. So in this case, it looks like it's pretty good, nice uniform coverage. What we want to do then is uh, drill down to the actual nucleotide level. And so we can do this, zoom in, and then go to the first position, first locus, <clears throat> and go all the way to the top here. And what you'll see is a um, set of reads. And so this is the actual first read in the, in the sequence. And um, <clears throat> you can see that the first locus is thymine, and it maps to thymine in the, in the reference genome. The second is thymine. It maps as well. The third is thymine. The fourth is adenine. It also maps to the reference, and then adenine, adenine, guanine, and so on. And you can see it's mapping perfectly all the way across the read. And in fact, this was a 2 by 150 base pair run. So if we go to the right, we should see that the, um, the first read is about 150 base pairs in length. And that's indeed the case. And you can see all the way across uh, this particular sample read, it's mapping one for one every nucleotide base. Okay. If we go back to the start, and look here, I think I can show the, what it's claiming the coverage is. So if you look down at the bottom, down in this, uh, this area, 
and then I hover the pointer up here, it shows the coverage is about 78 at that particular locus. Well, right now we only see a single base, so it looks like it's 1x there. However, if we scroll down, and I think it's all the way to the bottom here, I'm pretty sure, there's another set of reads that are actually mapped along <clears throat> the first part of the reference as well. And you can see if we start counting these up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, I'll bet there's about 78 of those if we were to add them all up. I'm not going to count them here. We'll just take their word for it. It looks like if you added up all the reads at that first locus, it's probably 78. So that means it's 78x coverage at the first locus. I think we have to go over roughly here. You see the coverage in the bottom changes to 68. So the coverage goes down just a little bit there. And I'll bet if we scroll down here, we'll probably find some other mapped reads somewhere. And here they are. And so somewhere along here, if we add up all the base pairs at that locus, it's going to be about 68. So that's 68x coverage. And you can go all across the genome doing this. Here it says the coverage is 67. And over here it's 67. Probably changes somewhere along here. Uh, let's see what we got over here. 71. 70 and so on. That's the definition of coverage basically is the number of base pairs at a particular locus that are mapping to the reference genome. And so if you need to ever talk about coverage you can use the Genius Alignment Viewer to, to check on that. And in the next video I think we'll talk about uh, how to look at the variants. Thanks for watching this episode of Basic Bioinformatics. If you found this helpful Hit the like button and we'll see you in the next video.